Good afternoon and welcome back to Bucket IFM here live from the Red Industries Stadium here in Staffordshire for today's Northern Premier League West tie as we take on Newcastle Town. And as always, my name is Sam Phillips and I'll be here to guide you through full match day commentary of our latest away trip down the M6. Uh, we are going to be joined by my regular co-host, Mr Jack Walsh, in just a few moments' time. But for now, unfortunately, you have to put up with the dulcet tones of Mr Josh Christian. Do you know, I, I, I could get a complex here, Harley. Jack's still stacking shells, and as we've seen him before we departed, I think he's on his way, isn't he? He is on his way. He'll be here just after kick-off, thanks to the glorious road to makers at as the run corner. Yeah. Unfortunately, didn't get out until 2 o'clock, and uh, the M6 is a little busy on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> it is. Uh, how are you, Josh? I'm good, yes. Yeah, we've not heard from you in 2024 yet. No, good to be here, good ha to be back. How's your 2024 been so far? It's good, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Happy? Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll run through the... I know you're dying to have a go with some <laughs> sort. Yes, Sophie is still here. No, she's not a figure of imagination. No, Anyone else? She isn't imagination, though. She is sat right behind <laughs> us. So hell of uh, we'll run through the two teams, starting with our opponents, Newcastle Town. They line up as follows. In goal number one, Joe Slim. Two, Jack Derbyshire. Three, Oliver Ritchie. Four, and the captain, Tommy Vanderleen. Five, Joshua Jordan. Six, Kyle Stubbs. Seven, Isaac Graham. Eight, Jake Sherratt. Nine, Jake Avery. Ten, Thomas Jones. And eleven, Jack Vanderleen. On the bench for Newcastle Town today. Number 12, Roman Allen. 14, Jason Ukartu. 15, Joseph Burks. 16, Kingsley Adu Glamphy. And 17, Callum Speed. Uh, three changes from Runcorn side that won last week against, who did we play Josh? Who did we play? I can't remember. <laughs> Poor knowledge. Uh, I can't remember either. Uh, <laughs> uh, they line up as follows with those three changes. In goal number one, Bailey Passon. Two, Peter Wiley. Three, and your captain, James Shaw. Four, Anthony Kay. Five, Alex Jones. Six, the first of the three changes, Sean O'Malley coming in to replace the injured Sam Wilson. Uh, seven, Will Saxon comes in to replace the suspended Jacks Welsh. Uh, eight, uh, Joe Lynch. Nine, Ollie Malloy. Ten, Lewis Doyle. And eleven, Adam Mosley, who comes in to replace the injured James Hooper. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. So the two teams are so heading down the slope the here at the uh, Red Industries Stadium, a stadium that looks Great like it could be used in the Olympics. It's a velodrome, isn't it? They play in green and yellow shirts and green shorts. And we are just and moments away from kickoff here. Today. Uh, as well as in a, an evening goals, anticipated game, goal, there's a lot of big, big games two, throughout the Northern Dubai. Premier League West Number today. Three, Obviously, there was a really big one James last night Short. in the Number push four, for Runcorn. Prescott Cables drawing 1-1 one, one with Vauxhall Motors. You were saying before, Number Sam, obviously, it's consistency. We also need to take Number opportunities seven, when they're giving us the tools, and that last night is a massive Number opportunity eight, for Runcorn today to go on and kick on. And I know it would take a second with, with the game played more, but you'd rather have the points in the bank surely than have that game in hand. I always say you'd rather have the points in the bank than the game in hand. It's, uh, it's a good chance for Runcorn today to go up to third place, uh, up to second place, yeah. sorry. And it's nice to see in yellow and green. I like being in yellow and green. Yeah, there's a, a full fixture list in the Northern so Premier League as well. Chase Town taking a late in 74 Northwich. City of Liverpool against Alvaro. Kids go uh, at home to Hensford Town. his man but it's picked up by Anthony Kay now. Kay looks for the run of Will Saxon wide right now. Saxon picks up and drives down towards Oliver Ritchie, gets towards the byline now. Saxon looks to cross it in, it bounces back across a couple of men and out for a early corner kick to run corn which Doyle will head over and take. Well he's pressing us and he's done it, done it all. Him and James Short seem to always win the, win the vote as Short's captain. Omani rolls it into the feet of 
Joe Lynch though, looks at that diagonal ball over the top towards Saxon, it's a good ball towards Will Saxon, Saxon nearly gets there but it was just the fact that Joseph Slynn had slightly longer legs than him there, as Slynn looks to bring it forward now, he plays a right footed long ball up towards Isaac Graham, he goes up with Alex Jones and he pounds Ooh. underneath Alex Jones, it's a really poor challenge from Isaac it's a Graham nasty then, challenge. he came right underneath Alex Jones at, at full speed and Puts Alex Jones flat on his back there. He's injured himself there, Sam. And interestingly, the referee has just had a good look at the liner. I don't know if he's looking for some sort of help there. But he's, he's, he's definitely injured himself, hasn't he? It was a really, a really poor challenge from Isaac Graham, that on Alex Jones. That free kick as he looks in behind for the run of Ollie Malloy. Malloy beaten in the air by Jordan, then cleared away by Tommy Vanderlyn up towards Avery. Jones does really well to get across and just stab that out for a throw into the home side. In a form, that goal against Kids Gove last week, his 12th goal of the season in all competitions. Uh, he's been, a, he's been a, a really, really good signing. Probably alongside Tom for signing of the season. Yeah, it's As a competition. He's got a chance now to run in behind and Richie does really well to turn away there, but his clearance is a poor one. Only finds Saxon. Saxon looking to beat Ollie Richie. It's swung in towards the middle and blocked out for a corner kick. There's a, a poor clearance there from Oliver Ritchie, can only find wait and let's hope that someone scores today so we can at least get one of them out. As Saxon now plays it back towards Wiley, Wiley hooks it high into the air towards Malloy, Jones flicks it on but it ends up out for a goal kick. Yeah he was looking, clearly looking for Sean O'Malley there in the back post to, to um, get his goal gif out. <laughs> I'd rather commentate to two people and have yeah. 900 people in the ground. John, John Brown. John, just, yeah, just John and Paul Raftery. Paul Raftery, yeah. Isaac Graham has just gone straight through the back of Anthony Kay on a header there. Obviously already on a yellow card after that challenge on Alex Jones there. Referees just sent him away. I think it's going to be one of those. This is your final warning because he's called Tommy Vanderlyn over as well to have a conversation with the captain and the player. It's one of them where if he's not on a booking, he, he it's gets a booking. It's yeah, a booking. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. Because he's on a booking, if you don't want, he doesn't want to send him off. Definitely. But today, what a moment! Oh my God! Imagine that, Ali Brown winner. <laughs> Brilliant defending from Alex Jones there, but Avery does really well against him. It's cut back towards Tom Jones, and he tucks it into the corner to put Newcastle Town into the lead. It was a good bit of play from the number nine to just muscle his way around Alex Jones. And it's into the back of the net for Tom Jones to put Newcastle Town 1-0 up. Just taken by Wiley in towards Joe Lynch. Lynch with a smart turn, takes it in left footed towards Doyle. Doyle's first touch is offside. That looked tight to me. Still with the run call man and Short has it now. Finds Mosley with a chance to open his legs up for the first time in the half now as he drives down this left hand side. Adam Mosley does well. Good run from Mosley. Looks for Malloy in behind, but it's well read by Stubbs and cleared away in the end by Derbyshire towards Graham. Graham. How is that a foul? That is a really poor decision from the referee. But Malloy is flicked on by Josh Jordan, then headed down by Jack Sherritt towards Derbyshire. Derbyshire then clears down towards Avery, headed away well by Alex Jones, taken down by Anthony Kay towards James Short. Back to Kay again as he turns away from Avery, then looks left footed up towards Adam Mosley, but he was offside there. 56 times optical zoom. Worked out well that time as Malloy looks for the run of Saxon behind now. Saxon running towards Slynn. Goes past him and it's a foul by Joe Slynn. And it is going to be, is it a penalty kick? Is it a penalty kick or a free kick? I think it's a free kick. And surely, surely Slynn has got to be sent off here. Surely Slynn has got to be sent off. Will Saxon latched on the end of a ball forward by Ollie Malloy. He gets in front of Slynn nudges it round him and Slynn took him down and the referee's over to talk to the linesman now surely this has got to be a red card for the Newcastle Town goalkeeper 
it's a yellow card for Joe Slynn. That's really, really poor. Really poor from the referee. You know, but I mean, it's going to take something ridiculously special to get this into the back of the net. As Short steps over it, hits it low, and Slynn managed to get down well to his left hand side. It was almost a really, really well worked free kick there from James Short. Yeah, it's crazy that that was Runcourt's best chance of the game so far. Doyle, right foot, it swung into the middle, it's cleared away towards the edge of the box onto the chest of Joe Lynch. He was off balance when he hit that Joe Lynch. He took it on his chest well, but he was leaning away to his right hand side. Richie now inside the penalty area, he cuts it across the box, it's bouncing around and it's ended up in the hands of Bailey Passant. It was about five players on the floor. He turns away from his man and feeds Sam Barrett again. His left foot crosses towards the back post of Will Saxon. Saxon does well to take it down, but he's offside. Oh, Lynch. Lynch steps across a couple of men. It's swung wide towards Sam Barrett now. His right foot crossing towards the middle and Slynn does really well to gather over the top of Lewis Doyle there. Some good goalkeeping from Joe Slynn that. Lynch looks for the diagonal ball towards Gums. Gums as well to head it back towards Sean O'Marney, who's somehow on the edge of the penalty area. He plays it square towards James Short. Short hooks it towards the back post. Brook goes up. It's ricocheting around and it's bounced off Saxon and ends up out for a goal kick. Ryan Brook just couldn't get higher enough over the top of the ball there, but his first chance is in the right position at least. Going towards the middle of the penalty area. It's up towards Ollie Malloy. It's headed away well, but only as far as the edge of the penalty area now and Newcastle Town break with Jake Avery and James Short's across to tackle well there. This is the last chance saloon for run corners. Passant delivers towards the back post. Malloy heads it in towards the middle but Slynn easily gathers. Long ball by Slynn. It's headed forward by Graham then headed back by Omani and there's the final whistle here at the Red Industries Stadium. It's finished, Newcastle Town 1, run call, Linux 0, but a real poor day at the office for the away side, Jack. Yeah, um, well, to be fair, second half, I think both teams were dreadful. I think it was a very bad game of football, I think. Um, wow. It, it, wow, and not a good wow, so it, it, it was just poor, run call, just... Runcorn arguably the better of the two sides in the second half, but just didn't create anything. Like, like there was just no chances. Like, give Newcastle the duty, defended well, but again, they were poor second half. It was just a game, a, an overall poor game of football.